And it's got powder on it? No, it's just the dirt from the last times I've used it. <laughs> Pretty slippery, so I'm busting out the sock here. What's going on, you guys? We're here for day 20 of Vlogmas at Marymore Sea Wright in South Austin. This is a fun par three track, good variety of shots, some ace runs mixed in there. Looking forward to bringing you guys some action. Looks like the club put in some new tee signs since the last time I was here. Always nice to know what you're throwing, what the distance is. Hole one's 300 feet. You got a straight up the gut option. I'm gonna elect for the spike hyzer over the right side. See how it plays out. Little left, but 18-footer. Start off a birdie here on hole one. This one's 282 feet, straight as the arrow flies. Got a little bit of a rock patch before the green, so the farther you can land it, the better slide up you get. I like an ace around here, the putter. Gonna throw a little force over with my fade. That one's nice and stable, but got a little anti-skip off the ground. If you need a straight to stable putter option, try out of faith. Great for driving and putting. Hey, and it's got powder on it? No, it's just the dirt from the last times I've used it. Here on hole three, 543 feet. Nice little turnover off the tee or a power forehand. Pretty slippery, so I'm busting out the sock here. Oh, a little bit of a limb knocked it out of the air, but that's good progress. Should be a birdie from there. Clean flight there. I might have had a long jump putt. I'll take an easy trip up for birdie. Yep, nice and smooth. Always want a birdie here on three. A lot of obstructed greens here at Sea Wright with these low cedar trees. Hole four is a short par three, 228 feet. Throw it straight for the first two thirds. A little gentle fade to the right. I like the forehand harp here. One inch low, a little bit obstructed there. First par of the round. Hopefully there won't be many more. Hole five is pretty simple, 185 feet. Gonna go forehand with the justice, throw it out there, let it fade a little bit, and bring the chains up. That has a chance. Probably just long, let's see. Made that one a little harder than it should be at 185 feet, but I think I forgot how to throw that short. I don't know. Hole six is a foot shorter than hole five at 184 feet. Dead straight, a little bit of a down slope. Can I take a faith? Come on, it's time for another ace. Way too much juice, I had a great line though. <sighs> Need to work on my distance control on these short ones. Gotta move on with par here. Hole seven's 249 feet. Jogs to the left at the end of the flight. Not gonna try to ace this one as enticing as it is. Just gonna play the right side for an easy putt. Need to grab my birdie after missing the last one. that lesson with me on the rest of the course. I don't always have to ace run it when I want to just run up the birdies. Hole eight is 231 feet. The last 50 feet or so have this low hanging canopy as well as a cedar tie on the floor blocking the slide up. 
So you gotta hit a specific height window on this one. I'm liking the backing of my faith. Once again, not gonna try to pure this one. Gonna play the left side of the green. It's more open over there. Way too much hyzer, but that's an easy put. Play the safe side here. Easy birdie though. At 390 on a rope, hole nine is probably the hardest par three to score a birdie on out here at Marymore. Really shapes you straight. Can kind of fly it over the top, but it gets tricky if you fade left or right with a lot of thick growth. Play it up the middle, play the low miss, slide up. Take a birdie if you can get it, par's fine. Dead straight, 390, explore shot here. Decent little kick out, missing my line by a touch, but have potential. Oh, barely missed my line, but cashed the long putt. Let's go, one of the best putts of block, missed yet. On to the back nine at Money More C right. Good thing we got our sock ready. Any of these slick tee boxes. Birdies are coming. Old tens a guarded par three at 261 feet. Out of tight gap, threw another one on the other side into the green. So you can kind of fly it right over these cedar trees. So I'm going to play the floaty shot with the harp. Oh, almost pure the gap. I was a touch wide. Got a long putt. By the looks of it, I didn't catch this branch. Definitely had the height to give it a chance. Tricky putt here for birdie. Oh. Two inches short. Player B is the real MVP, guys. Pretty short, but enough trees to make this one not a gimme birdie. T sign says 216 here on this par three, hole 11. I've always thought it played longer than that. I just lasered it, confirmed at 220, so pretty close to what the T sign says. Going forehand with the harp here. Landed right at the base of the pin, skipped off right. Should be a 20 footer or so. Oh. Having trouble on these 200 or so foot holes right now with my distance control. My putter made up for the mistake there though. Hole 12 is the second of our two par fours out here at Sea Right. Probably my favorite hole, beautiful one. Got a stand of trees about 200 feet off the tee here and an upslope that's terraced with these cedar logs the entire way. Low ceiling into the green, you really gotta penetrate far and land flat on the tee here, and then navigate a tricky approach shot. This hole baits you into throwing more than you need. I'm gonna stick with the fairway driver here, try to land it flat. Oh, nice little straight skip there. Should have a pretty simple approach. Try to give it a little bit, and the low ceiling makes this one tough, but pretty simple birdie here. Try not to fall into the trap, but throwing the distance driver and skipping into the woods. Keep it up the middle, throw an easy approach. Hole 13 is 249 feet. Got about eight to 10 feet of elevation gain to fly over here, and then it kind of dips back down a little bit at the basket. I like a gentle turnover with the putter here. Taking my faith, throwing it flat, letting it work to the right. Kind of worked right, but that little bit of nose up that you have to get to crest the hill here made it more stable than it usually is. Got a putt though. Another little kneeling putt out here at Sea Right. Like I said, these greens are pretty guarded, so they make you get a little creative. Hole 14 is a blind spiking hyzer for a right hand backhanded player at 267 feet. Gonna go with the justice here, try to hammer it down into the basket. It's one of those holes you kind of have to scout to see where it's at. It's really blind off the tee. I like the feel of that. Maybe landed on the right side of the green. Should be pretty close though. Little wide right again. 
That's when a straddle pot won't cure though. Hole 15 is one of the signature holes out here for good reason, especially if you catch it around sunset. It's a beautiful little view. You got three options here, wide, right, or left. I'm gonna take the straight option. It's a little more fun to throw. I'm gonna take my faith and float a straight shot down there. Oh, just short of the pan, a little more spin might have a chance. Close putt. fun hole to throw. I love taking the straight gap. Spike hyzer might be a little bit easier, but I love challenging myself. Hole 16 is another beautiful one late in the day. 255 feet. I always thought it played a little bit longer. I'm going to take a spike hyzer over the right side here, try to crash it into the green. There's also kind of a straight turnover option for the right hand backhand. A little trickier that way though. Going with my pioneer here. It looks like it was pretty close. Should be a tap in. Oh man, you can see the spike mark right here. I was inches away from catching that right side of the basket. For your simple birdie here, if you can pinpoint that hyzer over the top, up the gut's a little tougher though. Hole 17 is 216 feet, shaped slightly right to left, with some thick cedar trees on either side. You can also kind of crash it over the top. But I'm liking the little gentle backhand. I'm gonna go with a fresh faith here. Try to get a bucket. Tree love, let's get it. I shanked that thing. But I'm getting a birdie, who cares? Y'all didn't know those O'Reilly face had a little extra slippery butter on them when you hit them in the trees. Try one out. Already on 17, one more to go. Hole 18 is a nice finisher out here at Sea Right. 300 feet, a little bit of a movement from the left to the right for the entire flight. Once again, just like the rest of this course, thick woods on either side. Got a guarded green, a lot of cedar trees right next to the basket. It's a good birdie to finish out on. I'm gonna play a gentle force over with my compass, use that premium plastic to slide up to the bucket. tracking the bucket, but caught one of those last cedar trees. Got a long putt. That's it for day 20 of Vlogmas. Day 20 means giveaway number five. So head over to Instagram, check out the post and enter to win. We got a lot of goodies, discs, shirts, hats, the whole nine yards. Once again, this is a Mary Moore Sea Rite, a South Austin staple, mostly par threes, a couple par fours sprinkled in in the tight, low canopy of the cedar trees. Pretty coarse, definitely slept on. A fun hit if you're in the area. Thanks for watching.